Hello and welcome to your graduation ceremony. We've had to get used to virtual gatherings since spring of this year, but this is not just any gathering. This is your graduation, a very special day. Of course, we would rather be in the Whitlow Hall together in person, but on behalf of all my colleagues here in the School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, I offer you my warmest congratulations. This is a different kind of graduation, but still a day for celebration. Graduations are always a very special time in the Queen's calendar. Winter graduations have a very different feel from summer graduations, both equally significant, but there was always something very special about coming in from the cold into the warmth of the Whitlow Hall and holding graduation with the backdrop of Christmas lights and a wonderful aroma of mulled wine and minced pies coming from the marquee. Unfortunately, restrictions mean we cannot do this together this year, but let's not focus on what we're missing. Today is still a day for celebration and warmest applause. COVID-19 has meant that we will not have the opportunity to celebrate together, but it has not changed a single thing about what is at the very core of this, your graduation day formally marking your achievement and success and expressing our shared pride in all that you have done to get to this milestone and special moment in your lives. Many words have been used to describe the world we now live in. Unprecedented, strange, challenging, the list goes on. For society, it has been difficult and no less so for you, as you have endeavoured to navigate your final year of university life or postgraduate studies in these COVID days. Each year, we feel a real sense of pride in our graduates. This year is no different. And if anything, our sense of pride is deeper and more poignant. I want to thank you for how you have faced these last number of months. As we've had to move our teaching online, have social contact reduced, face-to-face -face teaching paused, many activities halted, a buzzing campus hushed, and your student experience ending in a markedly different manner to how it began. And you've been determined, resolute, remained positive throughout, pushing through adversity and finishing well. There's an old Arabic proverb which says, sunshine all the time makes a desert. It alludes to difficult and dark times often being a time of growth, cultivating personal depth and perseverance. I've seen that with so many of you. Lord of the Ring fans will be familiar with Gandalf's famous line, all we have to decide is what to do with the time is given us. Today, you are graduating from Queen's University, Belfast. As a university, we have collectively risen to the challenge of these times. We have been leading new research projects to address COVID-19, supporting local, national and international efforts to expand our knowledge of the pandemic and use this enhanced intelligence to develop solutions that will benefit society both locally and globally. Our commitment to widening participation hasn't wavered and we've been involved in some superb projects, including getting thousands of books to young children in care during lockdown. Innovation, resilience and a belief that we can all make a difference has underpinned our response to these days. You've been part of that. Hi everyone, congratulations on your achievements. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you over the past three years. We're also proud of you for being resilient. You haven't had it had it easy. It's been probably the most difficult final year uh, that any cohort has had, but you've come through it uh, thanks to your dedication and your resilience. Uh, so very well done and enjoy the rest of your day. Hi everyone. Who'd have thought we'd be celebrating your graduation like this? Irrespective of how we mark the day, I think it's really important we do mark the day. So I'd like to offer everybody my sincere congratulations. We are living in strange times with many challenges, but also many opportunities. So I'd like to wish everybody the very best in their future careers. I hope to work with many of you in the future. 
So have a great day, have a great Christmas, and enjoy. Bye bye. Hi. So graduating is always a big deal, but graduating in times of COVID is an even bigger deal. So congratulations and enjoy your new graduate adult life. It can be really fun sometimes. Things have been a little different this year and this online ceremony is unfortunately a reflection of that. But thinking about it, uh, the main purpose of graduation hasn't changed, I think. Um, graduation is an important milestone in the life of every graduate. It marks the end of something, but it also marks the start of something new. Importantly, it's an opportunity to take the time to reflect and celebrate uh, your achievement. An achievement, I think, that's all the greater given the circumstances of the last year. So, I hope you have the opportunity to take the time to celebrate and reflect on that achievement. So, I wish you every success. Congratulations again. Hi everybody, I just wanted to say a huge congratulations to all of you on your graduation today. I know that it's been a really challenging year, having to deal with a global pandemic, dealing with a lockdown and a circuit breaker, and having to adapt to online teaching. And that really makes your achievement today all the more special. You should feel really proud of yourselves, and I hope that after the ceremony, you really do take some time to celebrate and to just reflect on your achievements. So please take that moment to think about everything that you've done and to congratulate yourselves and be proud of yourselves. So many congratulations again and very best of luck for what I'm sure will be very bright futures for all of you. Congratulations graduands of 2020. Um, it's such a pity that we can't celebrate in person, but um, here's a virtual high five. <laughs> Um, and I just wanted to say that we are so proud of you and you should be so proud of yourselves uh, for what you have achieved this year. You have worked so hard under such difficult circumstances and your achievements are remarkable. Um, so I just wanted to wish you all the best and good luck as you embark on this next step. And uh, we certainly won't forget you, the class of 2020. All the best. Congratulations to everyone graduating this December. Uh, special congratulations from me to all MSc Conversion students. As your program director, I've seen how hard you worked this year, how difficult it was for you with online exams and uh, the thesis done mostly, mostly remotely, but you've done an amazing job, an amazing quality of work, and you should be really proud of yourselves. So uh, it's a really good occasion to celebrate, and I wish I could celebrate with you. You've made it. Even though graduation may not include that walk across the stage this year, the achievement is still the same. You've put in the same hard work. You've learned and grown so much. You've made it to the other side and we couldn't be prouder of our students. I know you'll continue to put in the work to use your learning to make the world a better place. Congratulations. Hello to all our ex-DCAP trainees. I'm sure you thought this day might never come as your year three tutor and actually whenever you started uh, the DCAP course I was your year one tutor as well so it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on this very special day you've worked so hard you've worked through difficult circumstances in your last year of the doctorate so congratulations enjoy the day and all the best of luck for your career now as educational psychologists. Enjoy your celebrations. Educational psychology graduates, congratulations on your considerable achievement. It's not been easy studies and starting a new career in these times, but you've all managed incredibly well. We wish you all the very best for your future careers. Well done. Congratulations and best wishes for the DCAP class of 2020. Wish you all the very best and hope you all have a lovely graduation day. Congratulations to your fabulous DCAP students on your graduation day and well done to everyone. Have a brilliant day. Cheers. Hello everyone, it's John Finley here, Senior Educational Psychologist based in the Portadown area. Um, uh, 
I'm very pleased indeed to be part of this ceremony. It's uh, been an, both an honour and a privilege to have for a while now contributed to the selection process as well as the training of new educational psychologists. Um, it's really great to see that you've all achieved your goal um, and I'm sure you've been through a range of ups and downs in that process. Not least of all the selection process, the interview process and what is quite a demanding and challenging course. Um, so well done, it's a true achievement and I'm sure your families and yourselves are very proud of that. It's also worth noting that it is one of the longest processes of all of the professions to become an educational psychologist. Around about, on average, about seven years. So it's quite an achievement. Uh, you bring with you into the profession a whole range of new skills. Our future profession is in good hands with this new generation of psychologists joining us. And we just, on, beh on behalf of all of the psychologists in Northern Ireland, we wish to extend our sincere congratulations and a really big welcome for when you join us in the near future. So enjoy your day and all the best. Bye-bye. I'm Carol McGuinness and I graduated from Queen's with a PhD in psychology many, many years ago. I'm now retired, but I spent most of my professional life in the School of Psychology at Queen's, teaching undergraduate students like yourselves. So I've been to many graduation ceremonies like this one. But nevertheless, I always get the same kind of feeling around a graduation ceremony. A feeling of excitement, of sort of looking forward to a new a beginning, a new journey. When Even when you're not very sure where that journey is going to end and you don't know what to really make of it all. A bit of anxiety as well and trepidation. You're probably feeling a bit like that yourselves, as well as relieved that you've got this far. And equally, at your end of your undergraduate study months, we're not typical either. You are learning online, you're putting your last assignments in online, and you didn't get the chance maybe to celebrate uh, after finishing that final exam paper that many people uh, do. So what are you to make of all of this? You know, how is it going to affect you going forward? Well, I was thinking you have one really very great advantage compared perhaps to other graduates, you have a degree in psychology. And don't underestimate what that, the advantage and the power that that gives you. Because regardless of the specific pathway or career pathway you go on, you will have developed sort of a, what I would call a psychological mindset, a way of looking at the world that will affect how you interpret events and situations. It will give you a world view. And be proud of that world view and don't hesitate to draw on it and the psychological knowledge that you have to help yourself and indeed others in these uncertain times. Also remember that you will have the full range of your, your, your memories from your undergraduate years. They won't be all dominated by the last few months. You'll have memories of good times out with friends and don't ever underestimate the power of those positive undergraduate memories. They'll stick with you for, for, for a lifetime. So that's all I have to say really. I wish you well and I hope that psychology treats you as well as it's treated me. The poet Seamus Heaney has a great quote where he says, if we can winter this one out, we can summer anywhere. And you have definitely wintered out the storms of the past six months to tremendous success. Congratulations on all that you have achieved. And we hope that your summer is coming. Congratulations, class of 2020. We have all done so well achieving our degrees especially with the exceptional circumstances of 2020. Studying psychology was always a no-brainer for me. I have always had a curiosity and an interest in human behaviour, how we think, act and experience our feelings, how those things interact with each other and how they influence our relationships with each other. Um, as we all know, psychology is everywhere. It's in our shopping experiences, in our workplaces and in our personal lives. Um, so for me, it's just really interesting to see um, how psychology evolves and to be a part of that. 
I would say that my biggest influence um, with this master's degree would be my undergraduate personal tutor, Mandy. Um, she's a very inspiring and supportive individual and she gave me the confidence to apply for this master's and encouraged me to work diligently on it. So credit to Mandy, thank you. Um, so finally, for you, my fellow students, I leave you with three pieces of advice. Don't give up, stay positive and look after yourselves. Um, throughout my life, in every situation that I've faced, um, no matter how many challenges it has presented me with, I have always uh, remained determined and strong um, and have faith that I will complete um, the task. And stay positive as well throughout adversities and setbacks and just kept, kept calm under pressure and looked after, uh, look after your mental and physical health. Um, also because it is so, so important um, that we do that um, in order to function um, to the best of our abilities in our daily lives. Um, so congratulations once again, everyone, and stay safe. Hi folks, Jade Eve. I want to send you all a big heartfelt co and congratulations from the Students' Union on finishing your studies. You should all be so proud of this achievement. I know for many of you, this might not be the celebration that you had expected, but wherever you are and however you're celebrating, know that you deserve it. This is a time to reflect on your experiences while at Queen's, the things you've learned, the clubs and societies you joined, and the friends you've made during your time here. And I hope more than anything that your time at Queen's has helped you work towards the future that you've always imagined. And I wish you all the best as you move on, knowing that you will change and lead our society for the better. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chris Johnson, the Pro Vice Chancellor for Engineering and Physical Sciences here at Queen's. I'm guessing that most of you won't have uh, met me yet because I'm quite new in post still, but I'd like to welcome you and congratulate you uh, at this year's winter graduation. It seems a bit of a cliche to say um, welcome, but I'm really sorry that you're not here. And I really hope that this will be the last time that you have to listen to somebody apologise in that way. Um, but it's fantastic news that you've reached the end of your studies and that you can accumulate everything in, in a virtual ceremony that, if you like, celebrates a transition between one part of your life and the next. One of the things that I've always been sure about is that uh, engineering and physical sciences lay the foundation for tomorrow's society and that the skills that you learnt at Queen's they may not last you a lifetime in the sense that some elements of some of the things that some of you would have studied will surely change as technology changes. But the underlying skills and the, and the fortitude that you learn through your studies and being able to, for example, manage your time, meet pressures and deadlines in a, in a flexible way, and be able to communicate your understanding of science and technology and engineering will surely be of value to you in the rest of your lives. So enjoy the rest of your time um, in this virtual graduation and congratulations. Today is a special occasion as you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I would like to congratulate you all in reaching this very significant milestone. I know that you have all worked extremely hard to reach this point and you should be proud, very proud. You're graduating in a year that has seen unprecedented change across the world. But you're also graduating in a special year for our university, as we celebrate our 175th anniversary. Since 1845, our world-leading researchers, pioneering students and inspirational alumni have made a real difference to society here in Northern Ireland and indeed across the world. You now join that talented and high-achieving Academy of Queen's alumni who continue to shape the world in which we live. As a graduate, you'll always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I am immensely proud of, not least because of how our students and staff have responded to the challenges of 2020. Our staff and students have adapted rapidly to new ways of working and learning. And our researchers have been playing their part in global efforts to understand, to treat, to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also a community that will play a key role in our society 
and our economy as we recover from this pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, you'll be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the years ahead. Congratulations again on reaching this incredible milestone and I do hope you've enjoyed the virtual graduation and have the ability to celebrate with your family and friends. Hello everyone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, it is my honor to congratulate our winter 2020 graduates. And because yes, it takes a village, congratulations as well to your family, friends, and the entire Queen's community. This year marks 175 years of Queen's, and I wish I could be in Belfast to celebrate this milestone and congratulate you in person. But as you know, nothing is more important than doing our part to stop the spread of this virus. And I'm so grateful to everyone at Queen's for your commitment to doing just that. I know this is not how any of us pictured your last year at Queen's, but that does not make this occasion or any of your achievements any less significant. In fact, I would argue the circumstances in which you have completed your studies make your achievements even more remarkable. You've shown incredible resilience, flexibility, and determination in the face of unprecedented circumstances. When I was a little girl, my mother Dorothy taught me that life isn't about what happens to you, it's about what you do with what happens to you. So class of 2020, you will be remembered for graduating during a pandemic, but you will also be remembered for the ways you responded to this crisis with creativity and compassion. You're graduating in a challenging moment to be sure, but no one is better equipped to meet this moment than you, a generation of critical thinkers, problem solvers and entrepreneurs. And it fills me with hope to know how prepared each of you is to chart your own path forward and to help build a better future for all of us. Class of 2020, everyone at Queens is very proud of you. And we cannot wait to see how you will make your mark on the world. So congratulations again. And I wish you every success in what I know will be a brighter future. Your final year is not how any of us would have imagined. It will be a year none of us will forget very quickly, but let it be a year which won't simply be defined by COVID-19's unwelcome arrival. It's the year of your graduation and a year when you have nurtured resilience. Poets and writers have often drawn upon the seasons to talk about life. Here we are in the bleak midwinter, in the midst of a global pandemic. But we know from experience that winter fades and spring comes. There is much to celebrate, much to be hopeful about, much to look forward to. And now let's focus on the good and what is happening. This event may be virtual, yes, but it is no less real. You have reached a milestone and realized a major achievement. I and all my colleagues here in the School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science warmly and most sincerely congratulate you on your graduation. I leave you now with a photo montage of your time at Queen's. Enjoy the celebrations. Mm -hmm.